I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We are discussing planes and in this particular video, we will talk about sketching planes. So the question here is, sketch the plane pi which is 2x plus 3y minus 4 equals to 0. Explain why the plane pi 2x plus 3y minus 4 equals to 0 will not have z intercept, right? So let's try to sketch it first. So that's our coordinate in R3. To sketch a plane in the given equation form, which is for us 2x plus 3y minus 4 equals to 0, it is best to find the intercepts, right? So we'll actually find x-intercept and y-intercept. For x-intercept, in this equation, y and z should be 0. We'll put y equals to 0. And so we get 2x minus 4 equals to 0, or we have 2x equals to 4, x is equals to 4 over 2, right? As far as the y-intercept is concerned, we'll put x equals to 0, and then we get 3y equals minus 4 equals to 0, 3y equals to 4, or y equals to 4 over 3. So these are the points which we have got. So on this, we'll represent x along this direction, y and z. Right. So when you say y is 4 over 3, that means, uh, I mean, let's say, um, let's say this much is y, slightly less than 1, let's say this is, this is your y-intercept, which is a point for us, 4 over 3, right? And now let's say this point, which is x equals to 4 over 2, basically means 2, right? So, so 2 will be slightly longer than this, it's all approximate diagrams which I'm making for you. So that becomes the x-intercept at 2. Now, to sketch the plane, what we do is that we actually join these two, the intercepts, right? So, the plane actually infinitely extends. Now, in this particular case, from the equation, it is very clear that if at all this plane has to intercept the z-axis, where can it intercept? Only when these are zero. That means at the origin, that is the only option, right? Now, since origin is not in our plane, right, in our plane pi, we do not have any z-intercept. Now, this is very important to understand, right? So, so z-intercept does not exist. To find z-intercept, we'll have to put x and y zero, right? Just as we did here. And if I put this, this zero and get z as you know, so it is not possible. In this case, it is not possible. It could be there if origin was, you know, a part of our plane, which is not the case. So basically, our plane is extending parallel to the vertical z-axis. So our plane is kind of going like this. Do you see that? So we will sketch it like this. So that is how we are going to sketch our plane pi. Perfect. So that is how it should be looking as if, it, you know, the table is the xy plane for us and something, a book standing on it, placed as shown here, represents the plane. And that book could extend in all the directions. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.